Uh, happy birthday, you little blue pineapple. Finally your birthday. Now it's time to make some of the lovely Sonic the Hedgehog G Fuel. Let's go ahead and make some. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. I need more G fuel. I need more of this. Why well, I need some more. Right, right, right. Let's go ahead and get to the get to cut to the chase. I don't even know how to put it. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Happy birthday to this blue pineapple. This blue pineapple, this Sonic. He has turned 30 years old today at the time I'm recording this. He is now 30 years old. So many games have been, so many games have come out. A bunch of great games have come out from the Xbox, PlayStation, Wii, PS3, PS4, Sega Genesis, Nintendo Switch. So many, like, so many games. Hick, last year we even had a movie. Great movie. It's getting a sequel next year. We have a Netflix show coming next year. We had the Symphony Tay, which was a 11 out of 10. Perfectness. Nate, endless possibility. Pure gold. Pure gold, my man. And even today, we had the announcement of more Sonic G Fuel coming. We have this flavor, the Peach Race. We also have the Sonic Chili Dog coming. I thought that was fake. The old, remember any man's that April Fool's joke? Yep, uh, apparently the old Sonic's getting a chili dog flavor. Yeah. Um, okay. We have a new flavor coming in August, so that'd be interesting. I hope it's blue pineapple. I know it's stupid. Like, what else could it be? I don't know. Like, and they even said that they're even gonna make some based off of other characters too. Like, if you come over here. See, there's a whole poster right there. Um, there's a whole poster right there, and it's kind of curious. What could it be? You know, like personally, I think there's gonna be an Eggman flavor and a shadow. Like, it showed Eggman, Shadow, Tails, and Knuckles. So I think they're gonna be getting more flavors of those guys. Like Tails might be orange, an orange. Shadow might be a blackberry. Eggman might be Knuckles. Might be strawberry. Might be a strawberry flavor, and Eggman could probably be egg flavor. <laughs> I don't know, but that's pretty much all I got for that. But let's move on to um, the next topics that there are. Is that, uh, as I said, today is Sonic's 30th anniversary. Happy birthday, Sonic. You've been there for me my entire life. Let's just talk about, I'm not, let's just talk a little, let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning. When I was four years old, Dad brought home a Wii. Which, and you're probably thinking, what the heck is the Wii got to do with this? 
Wii Sports that I ended up having Sonic Unleashed in it. And that's where I got started. Ever since he said, look at here, son. This little guy, he is really fast. I think you'll like him. I was hooked onto the second. Led to all of these games down here, like Sonic Mega Collection for the PS2, GameCube. I didn't get a GameCube until I was much older. But Sonic Mega Collection for the PS2. Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings for the Wii, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360, much down the road, uh, Sonic Generations for the PS3, Sonic 06 for the PS3, so many games start with this one game, and Sonic Colors, like right after this one, it's perfect, I mean, Unleashed is the best, should be getting the ultimate treatment, please, please, but, over the years, Sonic has had his up and downs, like Sonic 06, now in 2006, like, Sonic was made to combat with Mario. I'm pretty sure y'all know this, but when it comes to Sonic, this franchise has been there for me whenever I needed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Smash Brothers, Sonic was in there. I played the crap out of it. Like, anything Sonic, I touched. Heck, even when I was in school, back when I was in middle school, I even drew this lovely piece of Sonic Adventure 2, because Sonic Adventure 2 is my second favorite Sonic game, right next to Unleashed. Third is Colors. I love this so much. Like, I made, like, my art teacher, um, like, wanted us to make, like, a picture, like, with these kind of logos on it, and I said, I'll make something, and I made this thing. <laughs> it ain't the best, but it's still, you get the idea. It's pretty good. It got, it got ripped a couple of days ago. It's fine. I'll hang that up sometime. Can't get it back over here now. Just sit over here for now. Oh shoot, there goes that. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, just this franchise has been here for me so much. Like, sure, there's Mario and there was Mega Man and there was other game franchises. Like, let's see, what else do I have on the shelf? There's Mario, there's uh, the Smash Brothers series, there's oh, and Mega Man and Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. I love all types of gaming franchises. Dragon Ball, Crash Bandicoot. And, uh, let's see, what else is on the shelf? Um, there's all kinds of game franchises I love, but Sonic is definitely the one that got me into video games the most. I mean, there's not much more to say besides... I love this franchise, I mean... What more is there to say besides... I, I mean, this franchise... It's not going anywhere, honestly. This franchise ain't going nowhere, and I'll, it'll forever be a part of my life and this channel. So, that's pretty much... What all I have to say about me and my origins of Sonic. Got started with Unleashed. Rest is history. Colors getting a remaster. It's gonna be crazy. Y'all seen the Minecraft videos, how much I lost it. Which, by the way, more videos are coming soon. And yeah, watch them. You should probably watch them because they're, they're really good. You should watch them like right now. Either way, um, Sonic has just been a part of my life ever since I was pretty much three slash four. Ever since I was a kid. So, I mean, heck. Christmas, even when it's Christmas time, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't got this ugly Christmas sweater. Look at that, see? Oh yeah, I'll be wearing this when I go to Florida. I'll be wearing that when I go to Florida. Heck yeah. Oh no, my camera's not that. All right, so that's pretty much my th that's pretty much my thoughts. <laughs> that's pretty much um, all I got to say when it comes to how I got started with Sonic. And now let's go ahead and get into um, my thoughts and my predictions. Let's get into my thoughts and predictions. So. What I want next for the franchise is obvious we got three things coming. We got Colors Ultimate coming in September. We just had the symphony today of the epic music that I'm probably going to listen to again. We have, like I said, Colors Ultimate coming in September. I get September 2nd because they're early access, baby. And we got Sonic Origins next year. We have the new 2022 game, which is supposedly called Sonic Rangers and apparently Open World. We just had Minecraft. We just had the Minecraft thing. Sonic is definitely not dead at all. Like, all the stuff that's going on with Sonic, he is not dead. And this franchise is just getting started again. Like, hopefully this time, it keeps going up. But, what I want for the future is, obviously, Sonic Colors Ultimate. That game is going to be great. I just know it. All right? Everybody knows that that game is going to be successful. I mean, it's no game of the year. It's no game of the year. No, 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 no. But it's made by Blind Squirrel Entertainment. I think they made the Borderlands stuff. So I know it's in good hands. So when it comes to Colors Ultimate, I have no fear. It'll be perfect. No doubt. Like, it's not just, like, I mean, is there more to say? It's Colors Ultimate, baby. I mean, it's perfect.
perfect. I mean, it's it's not perfect. I mean, the controls might not be all perfect like it was in Generations, but other than that, I think the game will be really good. It'll definitely be good as something to hold us fans over because it's pretty much just a remaster they're giving us. And then after that, I think Sonic Origins will be coming next. Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles in CD is coming. So heck yeah. I mean, we'll get to play 3 and Knuckles in CD on a playthrough. That's awesome. And I mean, just, yes! And then there's the 2022 game. What I want from this game is I want it to be good. I don't want this to be like Sonic Forces. We cannot have a repeat of Sonic Forces because let's go back to 2016. I remember sitting on that bed over there, scrolling through one of my, um, yeah, scrolling through my old iPod, my very old iPod, and just going through to see if I could find new Sonic the Hedgehog stuff, like a new game or anything, because it was like around when Sonic was not doing so hot, 2015, 2016, and I was kind of unaware of the party that was going on, and I see two new trailers. I thought they were fan games of Sonic Mania and Project Sonic 2017. I see them and I'm like, whoa. What's, I was like, whoa, what's this? Um, and I see Sonic Man, I'm like, whoa, is this a fan game? I'm like, no way, it's real. Oh my gosh. Like, usually, because I was used to watching fake fan trailers of new games and stuff. And when it came to um, Sonic, um, yeah, when it came to Sonic Mania, I was like, whoa, this game looks pretty sick. But then I see Project Sonic and I lose it. Like, it was like the summertime. Uh, it was like summertime. I lost it. I just went insane because a new Sonic game is finally coming. Not a boom game, a modern styled 3D game is coming back. Oh, and Classic Sonic was there too. Yeah, whatever. I still bought Mania because I love the, I like I love the classic games. I grew up with them. Second game I got after Unleashed was Mega Collection Plus with the PS2. And just when I saw those trailers, I just thought Sonic was back. And then Sonic Runners. Then sure, coming for the phone, we had three games for 2017. Sonic was back. Sonic Mania brought the franchise to at least notice some people that we had, that he dropped the best OST of 2017. It was a critically acclaimed game called, Man called Mania. Wait, what? And uh, it, was a crit it was just critically acclaimed. It was loved by fans and critics. And then we had Runner's Adventure drop around November. And then we had Forces drop November 7th. I didn't get the game until Christmas. I didn't know what the game had done. At first, it was pretty well received because of the graphics and everything that it was capable of on Switch. It was <laughs> Xbox, eh, too weird. It's kind of too brightish. I got it. For, I got the best version on PlayStation 4, and um, it was pretty good. I mean, the Switch version was in uh, 720, 30 frames per second. No, it does not do it justice. The pixels don't do the game justice. But the thing about Forces that I didn't realize um, three years ago was that the fact that the game, I didn't, I didn't get hyped during the game. Like, whenever I played the game, I was, I loved the new levels and stuff like that. But the games like Sonic Boom, so games like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, and a um, little bit of Shattered Crystal, and games like um, Sonic, um, forces um games that just didn't make me go <gasps> at all like, i didn't gasp at all like the only time i ever got excited because i was a kid and i was so excited for sonic forces i, I had so much hope for this game i thought this game was going to be the return of sonic i thought sonic was back but forces did the opposite tried to go for a serious tone and didn't do any of it justice like come on so I just didn't know. I thought the franchise was dead. So, 2018 came around, Sonic Mania Plus. Um, Smash Bros. was announced, so I was more hyped for Smash Bros. than I was for Sonic. So, um, when it came to um, games like Modern Sonic, I thought Modern Sonic was done because Forces really just wasn't caring about no more. So, I could just stop supporting that game. Then, Team Sonic Racing was announced. I kind of just stopped following the franchise after that. Like, 2016 was when I started following the franchise and started keeping up to date with Sonic news and stuff like that. But when it came to games like Team Sonic Racing, I stopped caring because I thought Sonic was done. But because Sonic pretty much was. No new games, no nothing. So I stopped following Sonic, but early 2021, I decided to come back to the franchise again because I started liking it again. Like, I didn't stop liking Sonic. I just slowly started playing other games. Like, I, like in 2019, I played Mortal Kombat and other games on my PlayStation. 
But the problem was is that I'm also on my Xbox 360 stopped working in 2020, so I couldn't play some more Sonic games. So yeah, that was kind of sad. But although, despite the fact that um, playing Sonic games, even though I didn't miss anything in 2020, like I barely played Sonic games because around that time I started watching a bunch of Marvel movies and actually this Marvel's awesome. But other than that. I got back into the franchise officially 2021, so I could keep up with the 13th anniversary, but I never left. I just decided to start keeping track of it again. Now, um, what I want for Sonic Rangers is to be good. Like I said, I want it to be good. No forces, and as far as we can tell, an open world Sonic game, that's something I've wanted for years, just to run around and explore. Like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. This game, as we know, it started development. It started, um, pretty much started development after Sonic Forces. So I'm going to assume around maybe, maybe around, because as Aaron Weber confirmed on a live stream a while back, saying games start um, discussion and development around uh, early after another game is about to release. So I'm just going to assume that this started around November 2017. Either way, four to five years. Either way, it's a really decent long time. But... The fact that we knew that it was already started in 2018, but the fact that in 2019 that Izuka-san said the next mainline Sonic game has already begun production, I was hyped. I was like, okay. And we, and apparently that trailer, that CGI trailer of Sonic of the new 2022 game was ready to go back in February of 2020. That's insane how much progress they made. But the problem is they don't show us any gameplay. They need to show us gameplay or else we aren't going to trust them. They need to show us gameplay or else we ain't going to know what's going to be going down. Now, other than that, I have full faith in Sonic Rangers. I'm half and half. Like, when it comes to story, I don't know. Gameplay? Maybe. Because they said they want to push this for the next 10 years, the next decade, which that's pretty... They ain't playing it safe no more. They took the playing safe thing and they threw it out the window. That's gone. The whole playing safe crap, it's gone. So I think Sega has learned from their mistakes, kind of, and um, are now officially giving Sonic the respect he needs. Now, that's kind of what I think the future of the games need. Now, when it comes to stuff like Sonic Prime, I've seen the I've seen the art, I've seen the concept art. I'm not impressed, even though then again I forgot, so it's concept art, so it might not come to pass. So that's that. Sonic Movie Two looks pretty good. I have full faith in you, Paramount. Make the soundtrack, please, good. Make it good, please. But other than that, there's not much more to say besides I look forward to the rest of the franchise. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. To wrap up. I can't wait to see what the future of Sonic Colors, Sonic Colors Ultimate comes out. It comes out in three months. We ain't gotta wait much longer for that game. Obviously, we'll be doing a Let's Play on September 2nd. Midnight September 2nd. Why not? It's midnight nice September 2nd. I'll start recording videos. I'll be screaming down the whole house saying, This game's amazing! And wake up my whole, wake up my whole family and they'll go, What are you doing, Supercon? <laughs> and anyway, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Sonic, have a nice happy birthday. Keep going fast, and here's to the rest of 30 years. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace, Supercon out.